So here's something that I found interesting that I wanted to talk about. Some time ago, I uploaded a video about the company that claimed they brought back the dire wolf. But of course, we all know that they are really just genetically modified gray wolves. But here's what they recently announced. We're bringing back avian dinosaurs. The extinction company claims it will resurrect the giant moa in next 10 years. Yeah, that could mean anything. That could mean 10 years, 10 months, or 10 weeks from now. Now, before I get into this, I know that there are some skeptics that are going to say, well, it's impossible for them to bring back dinosaurs. And I would agree, that's true. Any traces of genetic material that they have been able to salvage, it just wouldn't work, right? Scientists have said this over and over again. But think about this. And yes, I know it's just a movie. But if you go back to the first Jurassic Park movie, people forget that in that movie, they didn't bring back dinosaurs. Remember, they used frog DNA to create a new lineage of giant beasts that resembled dinosaurs. And that would be the point of all this. You see, they aren't trying to bring back dinosaurs. They don't need to. They're just trying to create new ones. So let's see what they're talking about here. A giant flightless bird that roamed New Zealand before going extinct about 600 years ago is the next species on a controversial list of de-extinction targets from the biotechnology company Colossal Biosciences. Colossal announced on Tuesday, July 8th, that its scientists and local indigenous partners will bring back the South Island giant moa through genetic engineering within the next 10 years. Within the next 10 years. D. Robustus stood up to 12 feet, 3.6 meters tall. It's also 500 pounds, by the way. And was the largest of nine known species of moa, all of which are thought to have gone extinct due to hunting by humans. We're bringing back avian dinosaurs, the company said in a post on Instagram. Colossal previously claimed to have brought back the dire wolf, an ice age predator that went extinct more than 10,000 years ago. But the reveal in April drew criticism from many experts, who said the animals were merely gray wolves with a few cherry-picked dire wolf traits. Colossal also has plans to resurrect the woolly mammoth, the dodo and the thylacine, a wolf-like creature also known as the Tasmanian tiger. But these projects are similarly shrouded in controversy. We have numerous taxa going extinct now, so it is unacceptable that this is seen as okay just because it may be possible to regenerate an animal in the future. Trevor Worthy, a vertebrate paleontologist and associate professor at Flinders University, in Australia, who is not associated with Colossal, told Live Science in an email. Colossal's new announcement immediately attracted criticism from researchers who denounced the company's failure to acknowledge that the bird it will eventually create will not be a moa, but rather a hybrid with moa-like characteristics. Okay, so people say evolution is just a theory for a reason. Because we can't let companies like Colossal to use evolution as a part of their science. It has nothing to do with evolution. Even though companies like Colossal may try to insert that into the rhetoric. Because if you look at what these de-extinction scientists are actually doing, 
which is gene editing, telling us that they're bringing back extinct animals or trying to recreate dinosaur-like traits. None of that lines up with the classical idea of Darwinian evolution at all. Evolution, or the theory of evolution at its core, is supposed to be slow, random, and driven by environmental pressures over millions of years. That's the basic understanding of it. But what's actually happening today is anything but that. It's not evolution. It's simply engineering. In science, the word theory doesn't mean a wild guess. It means that there is a framework built on some type of evidence like gravity or germ theory. Again, Darwinian evolution is based on the idea that life changes gradually through random mutations, natural selection. Then there are also survival adaptations, right? But when scientists are deliberately modifying DNA, cutting and pasting genes in a lab, they're not following that model, are they? So they're skipping that process entirely and going straight into the code. Because the truth is the idea of evolution is going to be of no use to them. This whole thing was never about nature. It's always been about scientists playing God. So they can't help themselves. They want to go from creating mutant wolves straight into dinosaurs. They're not even trying to hide it. Just because they call it an avian dinosaur doesn't make it any less of a dinosaur. It's in the name. Who are they trying to kid here? You think scientists are going to wait for a bird to evolve into a reptile over a few million years? No, because they know that's not how life works anyway. They're manually editing genes to bring out dormant ancient traits like tails, claws, or teeth in just a few months. They're designing the outcome ahead of time. This isn't a random mutation. This is targeted creation. And even some researchers are starting to admit it. I mean, look at this thing. You really want this thing walking around in your backyard along with giant wolves? You know what's interesting? If they're now designing life from the ground up and writing DNA like software code and getting intentional results, then they're no longer proving evolution. They're proving that intelligence is required to produce complex life forms. The more they rely on intelligent manipulation to produce life, the more you can throw evolution out the window. What is actually happening here is the creation of new life forms. Creatures that never existed in history. Built from fragments of ancient DNA powered by cutting-edge genetic tools and formed with human imagination. This is not de-extinction, folks. This is neogenesis. The birth of entirely new species. Just like the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. Look at this. Is that what you want? To be running from a stampede of crazed moa bird dinosaur nephilim mutants? Speaking of dinosaurs, these new dinosaurs, if we can even call them that, they're not dinosaurs, they're Dinoornis, which means terrible bird, or Dinopteron, which means terrible winged creature. And if you want to take it a step further, you could call them Dracornis, which means dragon bird. You see, they won't be T-Rex or Velociraptors as we know them from the fossil record. These creatures will be engineered using bird DNA. Since they tell us that birds are the closest living relatives to these ancient reptiles, 
I don't know why reptiles aren't the closest living relative to ancient reptiles, but whatever. Scientists will use tools like CRISPR to activate long dormant traits, tails, claws, teeth, scales, and may even insert synthetic or computer designed DNA sequences to give them new functions. They won't grow in nests or in eggs under a mother's wing. These things will be incubated in artificial wombs or advanced surrogate systems. So instead of resurrecting the past, we're actually inventing a new branch, something that has never existed before, but is built to look and behave like something ancient. And that's another thing. They don't even know for sure what they exactly look like anyway. They have to piece these things together. And people make mistakes, you know. Look at this thing. The mysterious owner of the terrible hands. In 1965, paleontologists discovered a pair of massive clawed theropod limbs, earning its name, but otherwise leaving the rest of the animal a complete mystery. Do you see? However, in 2009, a series of expeditions revealed a massive fossilized frontal body with a single arm, revealing it to be Dinochirus, a second smaller individual, this time largely comprised of the legs and hind body, revealed itself to also belong to the very same animal. Finally, the missing head belonging to the first of the newly discovered skeletons was eventually retrieved finally revealing the complete animal. <laughs> so, what might these new dinosaurs actually be? Imagine a 12 foot tall, 500 pound predator that looks like a moa, but with raptor-like claws and razor sharp teeth. Or feathered hybrids with high intelligence and coordinated pack behaviors. What do you think a kick from this thing would feel like? You could have scaled, tail-bearing creatures that move like reptiles but are built for modern environments, maybe even designed for military research. Or they may just make these things for purely entertainment purposes. And the crazy part is these creatures might actually be better than the originals more efficient, more adaptable, genetically enhanced. Oh yeah, by the way, I'll tell you something that they probably haven't mentioned to the public yet. They may have mentioned it somewhere. I don't even think they mentioned it on the Colossal website or attached articles I've looked. But I'll give you the full picture here. I'll disclose this to you guys. The reason they say they can't bring back a dinosaur like the Tyrannosaurus rex is because they don't have a complete sample of T-Rex DNA and they don't have an animal that can be used as a surrogate to carry a T-Rex. You know, when they say that the T-Rex is related to a bird, what bird do you think they're talking about? Yes, that's right, it's a MOA. So, we know they don't really need T-Rex DNA, they can just engineer that. So once they bring this mutant MOA bird into existence, they'll have everything they need, won't they? Which may answer the question of why they're bringing this bird back in the first place. You know, for years, we imagined dragons, griffins, chimeras, monsters that some people think never existed. But now, scientists are asking, why not just build them? This is all about reinventing life itself. Biblical creatures and movie monsters that are starting to bleed into our reality. Anyway, if they keep doing this, you know what happens next. But that's going to be all for now. Please click the thumbs up button for me, folks. It really is one of the best ways to support the channel as I do appreciate you being here. Everyone have a great day. 
And until next time, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all soon. Every minute of every day, your body heals, repairs, and regenerates you from the inside out. Yet everyday exposure to heavy metals and toxins builds up and blocks your body's natural abilities. Natural zeolite is nature's answer to our toxic body burden. Breakthrough sound wave technology creates the world's first colloidal zeolite. Touch tone essentials Pure Body Extra Colloidal Zeolite helps clean out the chemicals from the body with an easy to use spray so you can make room for healthy in your life. Click the link in the description box below to order your supply of Zeolite today because now is the time to live your best life.